Hi, this is Slosh. Mama Cass. Kelly. And welcome back to Slosh's Bar and Grill Seasons, Greetings, all that kind of stuff. This is what, day eight? Tomorrow's going to be day eight. It's the eighth tomorrow, I think. Yeah, seven, is it? That's today. Day eight of our 25 Sources, 25 Days Advent Calendar. We're going to do a double tonight um, because we need to do two Pex Peppers sauces tonight. And one Mama Cass isn't going to do, but the other one, yeah. she will. So I'm going to bring this over here. We have the Taco Fuego. Um, which is a ingredient, jalapeno, peppers, vinegar, garlic, cumin and salt. Um, it says on it, Carlos' struggle was real. Just like the taco coin movement, but alas, he has finally found peace. This is the final batch of Taco Fuego. It was made in his memory. Rest in peace, user Carl Carlicio 2. So, I think someone died. So, we'll dedicate this, this to, uh, Carlos. we'll dedicate this to, uh, dedicate this to Carlos. Um, this is taco coin hot sauce. And I'll pass this down to these guys. And as I said, uh, Mama Cass is going to join us for this first one, and then we're going to cut, and we'll come back, and me and Calais will do the other one. It's freaking out about hot sauce. We'll smell it. Oh, yeah, I've smelled it before. <sighs> this one can't possibly hurt her. And the best thing about it it's is that like she's stuck one. in the middle. In the, 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 she's the meat away. in the sandwich, so she can't get oh, out. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Have you seen that new game, I Am yeah, Bread? Yeah. At the moment, I am bread, he is bread, and she's meat. <laughs> Her dad's going to knock your teeth out one day. Nah, he's all right. Nah, he can probably take a joke. <laughs> I like to think he can take a joke. <laughs> Too late, whack. <laughs> So this one, this one's um, Pex is rated four out of ten. Um, it, really? When I smelt it, it smells of jalapenos. Yeah, I'm not, I think it's jalapenos. It's nice jalapeno. and chunky. I can't really get all over there, but it's nice and chunky. It's, yeah, it's it smells smaller. it smells like jalapenos. Are you ready, babe? We're all waiting on you. Yeah. Up your butt. Root around. The first taste you get from that is just pure jalapenos and garlic together, just the two of them. With a lot of garlic. It's actually really heavy garlic. I'm not to a lot of garlic. <coughs> the garlic's burning. It almost, it almost tastes like minced garlic, like the aftertaste. There's no pepper heat. There's no, there's it's no like heat from the cheese. Garlic burn. Oh my god, that'd be well with like uh, English. That'd go really well with food. <laughs> That's good. I'm hoping so. But that is terrible on a spoon. I think this would be a very good complimentary flavour to go with Mexican food. If you um, mate, or you know, burritos, tacos, all that kind of stuff. By itself, it is a very heavy garlic flavour. Yeah, I'm gonna give that by itself, but if you mash that through some avocado, that'll make that'd a wicked clock. I'm gonna give that I'm going to give that 5 out of 10 on flavour, purely because I know it'll mix well with other foods, but by itself it's a little bit minced garlic, like raw garlic tasting, without a lot of other flavour. Um, and on heat, I'm going to give it a complete zero. So, yeah. I can definitely taste the garlic in it. Um, jalapenos, not as strong as other jalapeno sauces we've had that I didn't like. Because the garlic overpowered. Yeah, but the garlic was good. It it's like a nice flavour, and it's like a puree as well with the other one. It is a very. Uh, but you can, it's like the garlic, you can feel the garlic, because it seems like it's the diced in there. But it tastes like it would go really good with lots of meat, probably roast pork and stuff too. As Nathan says, apparently, I think everything would go well with pork, and that's because everything goes well with pork. Even bacon. Even bacon. <laughs> um. I don't think I've put that episode out yet, actually. <laughs> this is a joke from the past that you guys won't even get. Awesome, that's great. I'm so happy with myself. <laughs> Did I, I, it, it, it got a little, <laughs> I did get tingles. It, it was warm for me, but not too much that I got hurt. Um, so it would be nice to add warmth to Mexican foods and dishes and some roast meats and stuff and barbecue I'd, I'd, I'd give that to the kids. I'll give that to Carla. I wouldn't give that to Yeah, but she wouldn't give anything to the kids. But she doesn't I, even let them eat. No, I She starves them in the back. An that, eight, was, that was suck over the... Um, an eight for flavour for me. And maybe about a three, four maybe. for heat for me. Pizza. I'd say 
a 2 on heat and because you can mix this with like avocado and make a good guac out of it I reckon or even chuck it in tacos or any sort of Mexican mm. dish I'm going to give that a 7 on flavour because I reckon as soon as you mash some avocado through that that's going to go fucking real well yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to give it, I'm giving it my rating on just as the sauce, but I completely understand what you're saying. I have some avocado in the fridge, I might, we might do that. I can't, taste, I can't taste the vinegar in it normally, I don't like vinegar. Dead garlic. Just, just yeah, a flavor. really nice garlic flavour, I think that's why I think it would go good with meat. Mm. Cool. Yeah, if you marinate meat in it, would be real nice, mm. I Anyway. Anything else you guys like to add? Mm. No, that's, well, that's another good one. Well, as always, um, th thanks for hanging around every single. Oh, that was that was good. We're just going to keep talking over that phone. Some somebody's popular, is it me? No, it's mine. Ah, oh, Calais popular. Anyway, um, we'll be back in a few minutes with the other one, which I'm not going to say what it is until we're back. I'll see you guys soon. See you, Mama Cass. I miss you. Bye bye. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> oh God. What? We are back and I just messed them up with some information they don't really need. We're back with part two. We've got Mama Cass to stick with us for it. I'm going to try and get this to, to come up. This is the dark side of the moon from Pex Peppers. I think this is the very last one. Mama Cass isn't going to have this one. She says it smells too hot. Yeah, it smells too hot. I reckon it'll definitely be too hot for her. So this is To the Dark Side of the Moon, which is one of my favourite albums of all time. And... It's got a pretty awesome label, I don't really... It's a Doge coin bottle, so I, th I think our good friend Pexy is really into the, the Doge coin and the Bitcoin and the coin coin and the taco coin and all that kind of stuff. I'll let you have a look after we pour it. Okay. Um, the ingredients are red habanero peppers, smoked ghost peppers, red onion, vinegar, lime juice, garlic and salt. And I have had a smell of this, and it smells like smoked chilies. It's <laughs> funny. Smoking? Smoking? Snipping? <laughs> What's with the dyslexia? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Snipping it's Christmas. It's not going to hurt your way. It's it not does smell fairly really toxic though. Just a little sniff. Is that how you encourage it? Are you scared? Just sniff a little bit. It yeah, won't hurt. Sniff a little bit. Guys, 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 pull it together. Let's, okay. let's taste this sauce. We don't want to keep people for too long. We're doing, this does we're doing a video every single day. really day. good, eh? It does smell good. It's got that smoked smell to it. Um, in, in the box that uh, Peck sent me, he actually sent me a bag of smoked habanero powder. And when I when I was opening the box, my pantry still smells. But I keep it in there just to get a whiff every day. But um, when I first opened the box, we have some pretty dodgy postmen around here, and I thought they'd broken a bottle and because you could smell the chili through it. And it was a sealed bag wrapped up inside a box that was sealed, was and you could still hurt? smell. All that stuff coming through. Do I need to cower like that, Mama Cass? It's not like I'm just going to pour this and stick it straight in your mouth. <laughs> yes, we don't do that with a spoon. So, <laughs> it's a fair bit here. I'll give you a look at the consistency of that one. It's fairly thick. It's, and it's of fairly thick. Like Mr. Whippy oh out of the bottle. It, okay. You really smell the smoky flavour in this okay, one. Ketchup. What do they rate this for heat? They don't have ratings on the bottle. Right. Up your bum, mate. In your ear. Mmm. Mmm. That's so delicious. Initially, you get the smoky, the smoke <laughs> chilies. And then you get the habanero flavour. You do get the habanero burn, which is quite nasty in your mouth. It's a doggy coin. Dog. 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 Yeah, it's dog. dog. Oh. I'll show you the pictures. Like, she doesn't use the internet. She thinks it's like something you tap it like a rock or something. What Wait a minute. Facebook's on the internet, isn't it? <clears throat> that's hot. And Pinterest. Um, that's delicious. Very smoky. Very sweet. Pretty warm. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 on flavor. <gasps> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 on flavor. Actually, no. I give it a 9 out of 10 because smoky sauces are my favourite. I really like it. Go! Oh! Let's all cheers, Mama Cass, having a drop. Mm. That's fucking warm. I th once again, uh, this one is this is actually one of my favourite ones from Pex because it's got that smoky f um, taste to it. God damn it. I'll bring it over and I'll show you again. We've lost Calais, I think. Yeah, it looks I like can't a... speak. 
<laughs> I've got to give that an 8 on heat because it's fucking me up. It's Mouth all hard. Yeah, it is all hard. Like, you said there was ghosts in there, but... That's <gasps> a smoke flavour. Yeah, just a tiny bit of... Oh my god. See, I can smell the smoke ghosts. That's got... No, yeah, but it's you can smell it here. and taste a tiny bit of it, but it's all hab heat, like... Which is quite nasty in your mouth. Hab heat is there quite nasty in your mouth. There must be a fucking ton of habs in there, because it sent me into a little bit of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're going to the dark side of the moon. Flavour. Yeah, I'm pushing through it, though. I'm trying. It's nice flavour, but having a whole tablespoon is too much hab heat for me. Which I'm coming through it now, I'm going alright. Habs have a very nasty mouth burn, but it doesn't last very long. So, I don't if there was that. one with just that ghost smoked flavour, mm -hmm. I would buy about 20 litres of that shit. But I don't appreciate it with that having there, but that's <laughs> just me. So, I'm going to go a five on flavour because I just don't like the, the habs in there at all. Like, Do you get any sweet from the ghost in there or just the... No, nah, there's a lot of hab flavour, which is surrounded by the smoky flavour which you get on the edges, but the main flavour you do get is the habs. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely yeah, the habs. I don't really appreciate habaneros. They have a purpose, but I don't like them. You can see the But that's just me. It. Like, other people may enjoy this sauce. Josh I, said that he is rating it as a nine, so... I really dig this. I love the smoky flavour. Um, <sighs> I would prefer if there was more ghost flavour to it, but I love it the way it is. Um, unless you guys have anything else to say, we'll, we'll leave these lovely people since we're taking up their time peoples. every single day. I don't think we said it was Advent sauce. I know, because this, this is the second part of it, so it's still the same okay. thing, it's day eight. So uh, we're going to try and get Clay in a couple. We're trying to organise a big, big Christmas special, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Is that supposed to be a bee or a wasp? A bee. Because it looks pretty fucking angry. It's an angry wasp. I'd um, be angry I, if I had that sauce too, but I just can't be bothered. I'm trying to work out if it's holding a smoke. Eating a chili while there's fire burning over here and it's glowing. The devil horns. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.